Hello there, fellow summoners. Mad Dog HT here, and we are going into the gauntlet, the Grandmaster's gauntlet. This is the first fight, um, and just a disclaimer: I'm not a great Quaker, I'm very inconsistent, and I think I tried two or three times before this, before I got this solo. Um, you know, zero energy quest. So we're just going to go in until we get the solo. This guy's got particle, particle protector, micro reflect, size matters, and bubble shield. So Quake is a, is a great option to just bypass all that stuff. You know, you can parry some if you either slip up or if you want, but um, the block penetration on this Doom, I mean, he, he already has enough, and this Doom is stacked, and... Yeah, it, it's gonna hurt. So you can't you can't parry too much. And I'm just I, I will slip up in this fight. I'm not gonna end with the full yellow bar. That would have been really nice. But you know my quaking, it's 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 not perfect. Um, still still learning. And I and I don't use her a ton. I try to use her occasionally just to keep my skills somewhat brushed up and not get too rusty. Um, but yeah, she's gonna put in some work on this dude. I'm gonna try some other options. I really want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to solo this guy with Thing without any of the crazy synergies. I think that would be a. Uh, it's a doable. But Thing for the Gauntlet. I, I'm not sure how well he would do in a lot of the other fights or where else you would use him. He would synergize pretty well with Torch if you're gonna bring him. But yeah, I'm, I'm bringing Quake just because there's a few fights that. I don't feel comfortable with the counters and the options that I have, such as the Terax and the Cork fight. And, you know, while I don't do those cleanly, it takes a couple of revives. Um, Quake is, is a plenty uh, efficient option for an inconsistent Quake player. But, you know, here, we're going to get the solo. I think I end with close to, I don't know, around 20% health, because I think I'm going to get tagged here again once and and doom doom can put the hurt on and you know if you are gonna quake i definitely just recommend doing this fight until you get the solo just because it costs zero energy it might cost you some time to repeat it but um it's gonna help save you a revive or two or who knows how many because if you fail that first time you start pumping revives who knows how many times you might slip up after that if you're an awesome quake player you're you're thinking uh, Mad Dog, you know, this is this is dumb. I'm just gonna quake this guy. I'm gonna quake Terax. I'm just gonna blow through with Quake. Congratulations to you, Mad Mad Skills, to be able to do that. Um, I just I just don't have the focus, um, nor the ability or the skills, the experience. Um, if I use Quake more, maybe I would get there. But I feel like I do okay. Um, but I do I do slip up from time to time, and. Uh, yeah and on top of that i don't enjoy quaking the result of the quaking is nice but i just don't enjoy it i'd rather actually be fighting and hitting the opponent so i don't know it's just it's just not my style but i i have i have been doing some quaking practicing here and there per, uh periodically and i'm i'm okay great no but i'm okay and you know good enough to get this doom down which which is which is good enough for me so um we got about another minute and a half of this i'm just gonna let it play out we get the solo we take down this massive doom and we're gonna move on and we're gonna smash out the rest of this quest i will have all of the content posted i'm not gonna hide anything i you know i had some great fights um, a couple where I used one revive and a couple where I got my butt handed to me but you know what the rewards for this quest are incredible for the effort and the items required so I definitely recommend anyone and everyone to to try this if you feel like it's feasible if you have the items because it's worth it Kabam tried to scare everybody off and say like this was going to be the hardest thing ever and uh it definitely was not so yeah get in there try it out and if you feel like you're just getting roadblocked or whatever 
you know you can always exit early and collect part part of the rewards and that's better than nothing so appreciate you guys coming by stopping and watching hope you enjoyed probably not this one but hopefully the other ones are are beneficial for um, what you might try on your gauntlet run and yeah we'll see you guys in the next one and peace out Thank you.